What is going on, many millionaires? I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to my channel, baby, By The Dip. Guys, I'm going to start off by saying thank you for uh, subscribing, thank you for watching this video, and we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about today how Meta is going to be possibly the one partnering with Samsung. We got a lot of, you know, great evidence kind of leading that way, nothing concrete, but we got some great due diligence that we're going to put everything together in this video and see if August 11th will be the day when that new Z Flip, Galaxy Z Flip phone gets released and Meta Materials could be a part of with that nano web in the flip part of the phone. So that'll be super exciting. Guys, video is going to be sponsored by, of course, me, yours truly, Terry Yonker, the Patreon page. That's right, guys. Uh, we currently do got 16 active Patreons in there. So what that does, guys, you click the link down below. It'll be in the description. It'll also be down in the pinned comment. $1 a month. Um, you can go up as much as you want to donate, but little as a dollar a month, you can go to three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you decide to do helps uh, keep the channel supported. Also, got the premium Fintel website, which I want to make some more private videos this weekend, and we cover stocks in there that we don't necessarily get to cover on the channel. And I give you the premium buyers, the premium sellers, the institutional buyers and sellers and the short interest and all that great Fender information on other stocks that we don't get to cover on the channel. So consider joining the Patreon group, man. We're growing it up pretty nicely. So let's get here and take a look at the evidence we got with Samsung and Meta. Merging. All right, guys, we're going to start out here with the first part of the due diligence on George's Twitter page. That's right. So trying to put the pieces together here, guys. First, I want to say, Look at who they're hiring here. We got a nice warm welcome to Dr. Hai Sun, joining Meta Materials as Director of Lithography Manufacturing and Operations. Dr. Sun brings the more than 20 years of nano fabrication engineer innovation leadership experience, the nano web, and he tagged nano web, nanotechnology, semiconductors, and the butterfly effect. So this is what we're getting into. He did this post back on the 29th. A video from Butterfly Wings to Meta Materials. And he has this gift down here. We talked about it as well. And a lot of the speculation, as you see, of the butterfly closing the wings kind of reminds you of the flip phone. That's right. So if we take a look at the butterfly when the wings are going up, kind of reminds you of the flip phone closing. Here we are on Samsung's webpage, you guys. Talking about the Z flip phone. And where are we at? Here we go. Yes, the Z flip phone. You got the Galaxy Z Flip 5G and the Galaxy Z Flip. And the, here it is. The unboxing is going to be experienced what's about to unfold. Galaxy unpacked August 11, 2021 at 10 a.m. Now, I must say, if we go in here and just click on, I believe it was the, let me just do learn more. Yes, there is a lot of information in here, guys. As you keep scrolling down, I must say, it just keeps going on and on. I did go in and watch these two videos that Samsung has on there, and it does kind of talk about, here you go, original 5G film. Now, original 5G film kind of had me thinking, is it really the original 5G film or are they possibly leasing this technology or purchasing this technology from Meta Materials? And we're gonna come back on this part in here in a little bit. So if we go here to Meta Materials website, you go under their applications and there is a touch screen area and that's where we're at right here, their touch screen. This here kind of talks about the nano web, all the good perks about it. Down here you can see some of the pictures they have in here. How the glass is bending. They have a smartphone here. How it can bend around on objects. And you know, you can still touch it and move stuff on your touchscreen phone. So, just very interesting here guys. With the nano web technology that Meta has. It's definitely, you know, keeping things interesting. Here's a post on Reddit that just was out a little bit ago. And he's saying here, George confirmed back in February that Meta is developing finger scanners for Samsung smartphones. Looking forward to August. He's referring to this August 11th. There's a great picture of George, by the way. So this article here was posted back February 4th, 2021, guys, as we keep digging back into the um, investigation. 
MetaMaterials brings large area nano patterning at a very low cost. If we scroll down here and kind of browse some of the key points, the, they're saying the traditional way of the, the, the uh, screening can run into tens of thousands of dollars. This is also pretty illogical because the car isn't pretty much going to be worth that much. So they're talking about cars, phones, computers, things like that. Um, if we do scroll down here and look, they talk about, here we go, where they asked George, we are limited on the foundry technology began. The field of nano optics can be offered way out. A Nova Scotia, Canada-based company called Meta Materials, Meta has invented a groundbreaking solution to produce large area nano patterning at affordable cost. Their applications include rollable touchscreen displays, solar panels, 5G antennas, and smart wear, augmented reality, and virtual reality. The article here says they spoke to Mr. George Pilkaris, which is the founder and CEO of Meta, and he's going in here saying, what are Meta materials? He does kind of give the example here. I do believe we all do know what the Meta materials is. And as we keep going down here, he talks about how they're ultra thin. They're going to be able to be, you know, used in any kind of wide variety of sources. Now, there was a spot down here that says, what are the um, IoT applications of metal? So compared to any other smart materials of the composite ob objects, metal materials can be pushed to boundaries in fabrication, making things a hundred times thinner. This makes them a candidate of choice for making bulk materials for cheap and readily available off the shelf. The metal materials company by this were used to making bendable phones, which have become quite sensation in recent years. And they were one of the applications mentioned by George in collaboration with Samsung's advanced, here we gotta highlight this. One of Meta Materials applications mentioned by George in his collaboration with Samsung's Advanced Institution of Technology team. They come up with fingerprint sensors for next generation smartphones and tablets. For that, they're using Meta Materials rolling mass lithography technology, which is free from factor limitations due to produce, produce functional services. And if you click up here in this highlighted where it says we already covered this, it'll take you to a separate article that was posted back in uh, it was 2019. Bizarre new materials can make bendy phones work. And what this is kind of talking about is the first time Samsung tried to do their Galaxy Fold and it failed. They had to yank them off the shelves. Right here it says, Samsung yanked the Galaxy Fold off the market for now because they just didn't have the, the right material to make it, you know, accessible, you know, workable, bendable, you know, affordable in a sense. So this here talks about down here. Also how Meta Materials is listed back here in 2019 in this article guy. So it says here that the metal materials are easily artificially structured man-made materials where instead of using naturally occurring atoms and molecules, we define our sub wavelength structure, says electrical engineer Jonathan Fan, who studies the stuff at Stanford University. And there it is again, Stanford University, man. We're hearing a lot about this Samsung. We know about how they are part of Stanford University and how they can make stuff, you know, hundred times uh, smaller and it's just very interesting the more we keep digging into these older articles here they got the one for the rolling mass lithography this takes you right to Meta's page and you can scroll down here and look at how they can do that and they have all the articles on that as well so I don't know man this stuff just keeps adding up and it just makes me think here you can see right there so metal materials can have the 99% transparency and a high conductivity in the range of the one to two square. This makes natural film that for any touch screens that go underneath, uh, adds George. When you decouple the shape of objects from their function, you can achieve so much more of a sheet design. You can stack them together for road to road printing, like the newspaper reels for older times. It's kind of a future we'll be building with metal materials. So, I don't know, man, final thoughts down here on this article, but they keep talking about the 5G, uh, you know, the solar stuff like that, how they're just keeping 
all this going on. So as I sit here, guys, and keep putting all this together with this article, you got it right here on Meta's, you know, under their applications, under their touch screens. You go to the Samsung website. They talk about the 5G. They got the flip flame. Please go check out these two little um, videos they have. I don't want to play it because of the music. It may be copyrighted. But, yeah. This is just very interesting, guys, how they're making it, you know, a sense not as bulky to be in your pocket. You can hold it in your hand a lot easier. I mean, most traditional phones are like this, guys. You know, they're pretty decent size, I mean, nowadays. I mean, they really are a pretty decent size. This is the Galaxy S10. So, pretty interesting here of everything we come up with. But I do find it interesting that they're saying the Samsung Galaxy, the film, the special film on the Galaxy. Where did that say that at? Origin, official 5G film. So that keeps me wondering, are they like in a sense leasing or licensing out this Meta Materials technology? And will Meta get any kind of you know boost if, if Samsung is licensing and leasing out their you know film the nano web? Man, that'd be so cool. So guys. Like I said, comment down below. What do you think, man? Is all this starting to come together with the tweets? We got, the, you know, the Samsung Apple Dirt News. We got this possible butterfly effect going on, which kind of reminds you of the flip phone, man. So super exciting stuff going on here. We got about, what, less than two weeks to see what happens on this August 11th. And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to be super excited. So, guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash a thumbs up. Check out the links down below. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.